Welcome to your tapping on embodying divine sovereignty. I am so excited about this tapping. If you guys have not met me before, my name is Laura Mazzotta. I have been a holistic therapist of 20 years in New York state, and I'm also an Akashic Records expert and the author of Holistic Mental Health. And tapping is one of my favorite modalities. It's highly effective. If you know any of my work, you know that any modality that incorporates all five layers, physical, emotional, mental, energetic, and spiritual is totally my jam. The Akashic Records is one of them. Tapping is another. And today I'm actually going to be tapping through a sequence that I downloaded last night in my journal. So I'm going to be following my journal as I am tapping on these tapping points, because it was a prayer that I brought through as I was moving through my own process. And um, it just felt so I just started tapping in the midst of bringing this prayer through, and it just felt so right to align this with the tapping points. So I'm excited to share it with you. I've never done a tapping um, combined with a prayer before. So this is fun. And if you are not used to tapping and this is something new for you, I encourage you to click the link in the description of this video. That'll take you over to my website where I have an intro video on what tapping is and why it's effective and how it works. And you'll also see a visual on my website. If you go to about the about tab and go to about tapping, and it'll show you a visual of all the different tapping points. I'm a very visual learner. So I want to make sure you guys have the resources as well that assist me too. So without further ado, let's get started with this tapping. And again, if you haven't done this before, just pause, go check it out on my website, and then you can come back here and finish this up. All right. So close your eyes and take a nice deep breath in. Allowing your shoulders to move back and down, loosening your jaw, settling your feet on the floor. And just tune in to your energy field, your emotions and your body, identifying how you're feeling on a scale of one to 10 when it comes to feeling sovereignty. Sovereignty that doesn't just come from, oh, I'm independent, I can stand on my own, I can embody my own power but that I know that all of this is being fueled by my soul. Like I am in alignment with the sovereignty of my soul's purpose. And whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. And if you don't have full clarity on exactly what that feels like yet, don't worry because you're going to, by the end of this, and I want you to know that your energy is going to receive this, even if you don't consciously understand it quite yet. Okay, so we're going to start with just the tapping points. We are not going to start with the karate chop point this time like we usually do. We are just going to jump right into starting at the point above the eyebrow. So repeat after me and follow along. Enjoy. Taking a deep breath. Thank you for so much grace. I embody you. Your divine presence is felt. I embody you. Thank you for loving me so dearly. I embody you. Keep tapping here and take a deep breath. As you're tapping, I really want you to intentionally call forward the energy of God, source, the creator, spirit, the universe, just allowing it to drop in through the crown of your head as we continue, feeling it come in through each cell of your body, all the way to the tips of your toes, the tips of your fingers, and the top of your head. We'll continue tapping now. You are the creator of all things. I embody you. Thank you for remaining so close to me. I embody you. I am so grateful for your love.
I embody you. I vow to be of service. I embody you. I allow you to lighten me. I embody you. You move through my breath. I embody you. You anoint through my words. I embody you. You bless through my presence. I embody you. I am devoted to softness in your name. I embody you. I am devoted to softness in your name. I embody you. I remember my heart's deepest intention. I embody you. Thank you for the desires placed on my heart. I embody you. I can feel the momentum of your power. I embody you. I stand in sovereignty with you by my side. I embody you. I own the role my soul came here to play. I embody you. I am mobilized by love and devotion over fear. I embody you. I welcome you into the small moments of each day. I embody you. And I trust the energy guided by your hand. I embody you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I fully embody you now. Put your hands down, close your eyes, take a nice deep breath. Just tuning into your body, your energy field and your emotions and how you're feeling. You might not even want to identify this on a scale of one to 10 with divine sovereignty. For me, I'm just feeling a lightness of being. I'm feeling a more intimate connection to spirit. I'm feeling more in the vibration of unconditional love. We don't always have to measure these things. Sometimes it's enough to just be and be present with what's coming forward. 
You can open your eyes whenever you're ready. Thank you so much for doing this with me. This is so sacred. Um, I was going through a process that I'm actually going to be leading my um, membership group through shortly. I'm moving from, from grief to sovereignty, but not a grief that's like of a loved one passing, but it's this feeling that when we are moving into a higher level of sovereignty within ourselves, it's necessary to honor and acknowledge the grief process, whether we're feeling it consciously or understanding it consciously or not, that exists in releasing the previous version of ourselves that was less sovereign or that was operating at what it thought was the highest level of sovereignty. And then we're kind of shedding any conditioning that's preventing us from moving forward. And we're saying, okay, I'm releasing that. But anytime you're releasing any parts of you, there can be a grief process associated. So that's what I was kind of moving through for myself is like this concept of, of realizing that grief is necessary to at least acknowledge, even if it doesn't become this big process, it might not need to be, but just recognizing that it might be necessary to acknowledge before we move into sovereignty. And there were some somatic practices that I went through around that, that I'm going to be sharing with my group. But, um, but this prayer that came after the somatic practice was just it just felt really, really beautiful and felt really aligned with tapping. So thank you for doing this with me and receiving this from me. And if this is something you enjoy, definitely like and subscribe, hit the notification bell for other EFT tappings that I upload. There is a whole tapping playlist on my YouTube that you can subscribe to as well so that you have over 50 tappings on all different topics. If other feelings or sensations or belief systems came up during this that you want to dive into further, you can see if it's on that tapping playlist um, or message me. And I'm happy. To, I always take requests for tapping. So you can let me know what's on your heart that you desire to tap through. And um, I also upload Akashic updates every other week. And there's a playlist for that as well. And those are rock star. It's like all of the guidance that's been coming forward within that couple of weeks, not just for my own work, but also with my work with clients and what's presenting in my loved ones and what I'm feeling from the collective. So thanks again for being here and I will see you on the next video. Take care.